I am Roshni from Mauritius. I am a Hindu woman. I know that Allah is one God and I secretly pray and keep my fast. That is Roza in Ramzan. My family doesn't know about this and it will be a problem for me if they come to know. I don't know what to do. I also have to participate in the Hindu prayer and I know it's a sin. On this situation, what is your advice and suggestion for me? Sister Roshni from Mauritius, she says that uh, she's a Hindu woman and she believes that God is one and she agrees in the teachings of Islam. She also falls during the month of Ramadan. But now her family members don't know about it. And many a times she may have to get involved in the Hindu worship, which she knows is a sin. What should she do? Sister, I understand from your question that you are an adult woman, but I'm not aware whether you're married or you're not married. And if you're not married, my advice to you would be that you should tell your family members, your parents, that you, what you believe in. You should meet them and with hikmah convey the message to them. Maybe you can see my videotapes on similarity between Islam and Hinduism and maybe point out from the Hindu scriptures initially that doing idol worship is wrong, what they are doing is wrong and try and break the news slowly. That idol worship is wrong, doing murti puja is wrong. You can convey to them also the message about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which is mentioned in the Hindu scriptures and you can also mention to them about the other teachings. So whatever similarities that are there in my talk, alcohol is prohibited, pork is prohibited, mentioned in the Hindu scriptures and Islam, if you convey to them slowly, slowly, they will start getting a hint, inshallah, and then maybe tell them that you believe there's one God and you believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God and convey to them there are two options that will take place. Maybe initially, surely they may get angry, but later on they may get pacified and they may agree with what you have done. They may not agree, but at least they will compromise with what you have done. Or maybe they'll get convinced with what you have said and they may accept Islam also. You have to convey with hikmah. As Allah says in the Quran in Surah Nahal, chapter 16, verse 125, Udu ila sabi li rabbika bi hikmah, wal mu'azid al hasna, wajadun bilati hasan. Invite all to the way of thy Lord with wisdom and beautiful preaching and argue with them and reason with them in the ways that are best, most gracious. So slowly and steadily you can convey to them the message of Islam. There may be a very harsh reaction, they may get very angry. They may ask you to leave the house, you should be prepared. In this case, you can very well contact in advance before conveying the message to your family. You can contact maybe your Muslim friends who you have and inform them that you're going to inform your parents. And if in the worst case scenario, they ask you to leave, you can surely take the help of your Muslim friend and maybe stay with her for some time. And my advice to you would be that see for a good, if you have to leave the house, then see to it that you get married to a good, good practicing Muslim man so that you can lead a life where you can practice Islam. You ask the question that can you do the Hindu worship? You know it's a sin. You know very well it's a sin. Therefore, doing the Hindu worship is wrong. That's the reason you should convey to your family members as soon as possible that you like Islam and are going to accept Islam and I believe you have already accepted Islam and convey to them irrespective whether they allow you to stay in the house or not it's your duty as a daughter that you should convey the message to your parents if they allow you to stay you continue staying convey the message and then get married to a good Muslim boy if they ask you to leave see to it that you keep in touch with your parents don't at all get angry with them. Once you accept Islam, see to it that you behave like a better daughter than what you were before. Only those things what they tell you, which is against Quran and Sunnah, that you avoid. Those things what they tell you, which is against the teaching of the Quran and the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad you avoid doing. All the rest, 
you do if they tell you for example to wear a blue color dress and you don't like blue color wearing blue color out in islam see to it that you wear you start wearing a blue color dress see to it that you love your mother and father more you take care of them more if you go out and if you start earning say see to it that you give some part of your earnings to your parents you love them more you are the one who can make their heart soft and you are the one who can convey the message of islam and see to it that you deliver the message of islam so that they too your family members your parents your brothers your sisters they to uh, they to accept islam and i pray to allah subhanahu wa taala to make your task easy to convey the message and may he soften the hearts of your parents and your family members so that they too come to the fold of islam